Want to invest in Portugal but don't know where and how? Tired of endless scouting trips? The more you search online, the more lost you get. Have you thought about purchasing a property remotely in Portugal? We're going to tell you exactly how to do it in this video. But before that, we kindly ask you to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. It really helps our channel out and allow us to continue sharing informative videos with you every week. Ok, let's get into it! Hello everyone! If you are new to our channel, we are Mia and Rafael, founders of Mall Portugal, a property advisory company that helps you buy like a local. Purchasing property in Portugal remotely is not as complicated as it may sound. In fact, it's a very straightforward process as long as you have a few things in order. There are many reasons why someone would want to purchase a property in Portugal remotely. Covid really helped as a factor of series of changes. For example, online shopping was not very common for most of the people here in Portugal as it is now. And the same goes with the working remotely. Since Covid, a lot of companies started to implement remote working and this has continued as a trend even till now. Many companies actually gave up of office spaces and hiring people as remote positions. Even us, we made the executive decision to close our office permanently. With us traveling at least 70% of the time and having employees all over Portugal and some overseas, this makes the perfect sense. And so far as we can see, we are not seeing the world going back to where it was before. We believe all these worldly changes really made people realize that not only can you do everything online, but it can also be more time and cost efficient. And this is true also for purchasing a property. We are going to give you a general introduction to the main steps it will take to purchase property in Portugal remotely. Let's say you have been scouting the internet and found some properties you're interested in and you decide that you're buying a property in Portugal. What's next? So step one, we highly recommend you to engage with a lawyer since the beginning. They will help you acquire an IF number before anything else, which is your fiscal number here in Portugal. In Portuguese is Número de Identificação Fiscal. And if you are not a European Union citizen or a resident, you will also need a fiscal representative in order to obtain your NIF number. After obtaining the NIF number, your lawyer can also help you get a Portuguese bank account. Both obtaining NIF number and opening bank account can also be done remotely with third-party companies. Or if you hire a service like ours, we are connected with partners that can facilitate this. If you are not applying for Golden Visa, it's not necessary to open a Portuguese bank account. Step 2. Next, you will need to hire a team of trusted agents to be your eyes on the ground, to find you the best deal and more importantly to be on your side to protect you from potential mistakes due to the lack of knowledge of the local market. And this is where a company like ours would come in and do all the vetting for you. Whichever team or company you choose, make sure they know what they're doing, they have proven experience and results, and that you have overall good vibe with them. If you would like to work with us or if you feel like you didn't find the answers to your questions, feel free to schedule a one-to-one -one consultation call with us. We would love to offer you some clarity. You can also find this link in the description along with additional resources on purchasing a property in Portugal. Now that you've found yourself a trusted team of property experts in Portugal, just to use our experience with our clients as example. We usually suggest the locations and do the scouting on their behalf with their requirements and requests in mind. This means we will travel to their desired areas to visit properties that have been shortlisted as their top picks. And we will report back with our findings and professional advice so that they can make a very informative decision. Of course, you can also do the search for yourself, which you need someone on the ground to vet the properties for you. For instance, to check the area, to get the exact address, to see the price better and also the conditions to negotiate. These are just a few examples. Step 3. Now you've made up your mind on what property you want to put an offer in, 
You and your team will discuss the game plan, realistic expectations, and the goals for negotiating. Your team will go in and negotiate on your behalf and try to get you the best deal possible and ideally close the deal. And once you reach the verbal agreement on the price of the property, it's time to sign the CPCV, Contrat Promessa de Compra e Venda, which is a promissory contract. Or you can just decide to go straight to the deed signing. You will need your lawyer here to do the due diligence of the documents of the property. If they have your power of attorney, they can also sign on your behalf after making sure everything is okay. And once all the paperwork goes through, the property is yours and you did all from the comfort of your home. Congratulations and welcome to the new era of property buying. The final step would be for you to either rent it out or proceed with renovation, which both can be done remotely as well. And that's it. If you like to see the experience from one of our clients who bought remotely and visit her property for the first time, make sure to watch our latest YouTube video. Right? Right? How beautiful is this? As always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We post new videos every week. Please also don't forget to follow us on TikTok and Instagram. We're very active there as well. See you in the next one. Ciao.